Marie, thanks to the Bondwell Band. We're ready as well here with Jude Wilbur's trip up to Shyocton tonight. How was Shyocton it? Shyocton and Seymour. Uh, got to see Shyocton up close and personal for the first time. I left pretty impressed. Oh, I love level two of the playoffs. This is my favorite Friday. Oh. A lot of great games out there. A lot of local games tonight. A lot of top five plays too. A lot of top five plays. Great top five plays. And let's start <laughs> it off with play number five before I stumble through anything else. We'll go to Algoma here for play number five. Andrew Gore is coming flying into the frame to break up the pass. Look at that full extension going horizontal to bat that pass away for play number five. He's going to like to see that one in the film study tomorrow. On to number four. It comes from one of your games, Manasha's Dylan Shez. The 56-yard touchdown run as he breaks off the long run as they get the big win over Ash Wabanon tonight. Yeah, the, he was a big part of that game plan tonight. Let's go to play number three. Comes to us from our game time game of the week. Dan Rothbauer, 24-yard touchdown run. And look at that, just hitting the pylon. That's what you like to see. That would be uh, upheld by re replay That's review. a well-schooled quarterback right there is Appleton North. Wins that one on to play number two, Oshkosh's Nate Nevue. He decides to tuck it and run. And look at these open field moves right there. That's your quarterback <laughs> making those moves, making people miss. Oh, see, I like this. When we're doing the highlights, you don't get to see that nice little slow-mo. And I bet Frank Shady's at home excited to see that kid on the court come basketball season. Great point. Nate Nevy, he's just, a, he's just a leader. I like it. All right, play number one comes to us from a team. Didn't come up with the win tonight, but had the number one play. Quinn Wolfel, Brian Luton reeling in the touchdown pass for Fond du Lac. You got to appreciate it in slow motion, the concentration off his face mask. That would bounce for a bunch of times there. Congratulations to our number one play of the week. Let's hand out the helmet stickers. I'm going to go first. Roncalli's John Paul Ruther. We saw he had a second half touchdown run. He had an interception. Roncalli moves on face freedom next week. That'll be good. I'm going with Talon Heinemeyer of Shy Octon. Two punt returns for a touchdown interception and a rushing touchdown while I was there. On behalf of Doug Ritchie, he's going to Appleton North. Big win in our game time game of the week. And we appreciate all of you for joining us for level two high school game time. For all our photographers, guys behind the scenes, Doug in the field.